porcelain, however, is easy to clean. Gently scrape it off, and it's easy to clean it off. That's one of the reasons we decided to use porcelain instead of a cement tile, uh, because it's so impervious to stain and uh, durable on the surface. So it's important to make sure that the area we're setting up the stone in is clean. Any tiles with any side longer than 15 inches is considered large format, so that these ones certainly qualify. For the tile itself, we want to butter the bottom of the tile for the same reason, to make sure we get complete coverage. These tiles are 18 inches by 36 inches. So it takes a while for each stone, but it can be comforting to know you're doing over four and a half square feet with each tile. And a large notch trowel will make the job go faster. This one we have a half inch by half inch notch. And so the key with this then is to Luckily, these tiles are set yesterday, so they're not vulnerable to move. But and then you wiggle it back and forth to press it down. And then every once in a while, you should check the tile to make sure you're getting a good bond. So in this case, it seems like I have a very good bond. And we wiggle it back and forth collapse all those ridges. Okay, it's level in the direction I want it level and sloping in the direction I want it to slope. We have these spacers. We're doing a quarter inch space in all our joints which is appropriate for an outdoor installation. Doing them really tight is harder. It gives you less flexibility in terms of tolerances for heights.